Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make easy packing paper mini bags. But first, let's have our shout out to Lola Gamma, Deanne's Designs, With Love, LJ's Journal, Leanne L, Estee Marie Arts, Dawn, Michelle, Judy, and Roxana. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, here's a piece of packing paper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to smooth it out, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut it. And I've already cut this one right here. So this one is approximately six and a half by four, approximately. And what we want to do is we want to take one of the long ends and we're going to turn it over. We're going to fold it. So I'm just going to fold the very top. I'm using the grid marks on here just so I don't end up with um, one end being uh, turned down more than the other. And I'm just, there we go. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm going to bring in my Tombow glue and I'm going to glue this down. And what we're doing is we're just reinforcing the top part of our mini bag. Just reinforcing it just a little bit. Now what we want to do is we want to take it and fold the ends towards the center. So we're folding the ends towards the center. Once again, I'm going to use my lines just to, let's see if I get this folded here, just to use it as a guide. So folding this one here. And if you fold it and it's wrong, you can unfold it because there are so many crinkled up lines here, it won't matter a bit. So it's extremely forgiving, which makes it an easy project. So if you folded it this way and you say, oh, that's wrong, you can refold it. You can recrinkle it and spread it back out again too. So now we have the, the two ends folded into the center and they're just overlapping just a tiny bit. Okay, then we're going to take the bottom and we're going to fold it up. Once again, it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not really measuring. It's an inch and a half, okay? If somebody really wants to know, it's an inch and a half. We're going to open this up, okay? So it's folded in. We're going to open it up. This right here and this right here, we're going to remove with our scissors. So we're going to open it up, and that's the spot right here. And you can see where you've made the fold, and so you're, you will be able to trim it. So we're just going to trim this out. I think some people call these a seed, a seed packet. I think that's what some people call this. They do put seeds in stuff like a packet that's kind of similar to this. Some, some of them do, not all of them anymore. They used to. Okay, so now we have what looks like this. What we want to do at this point in time is we want to take the corner off. So we're just going to trim from this corner, right, from this corner right here. We're going to trim it off. And you don't have to measure. You're just going to trim it off, and then you're going to turn around, and you're going to trim this one off. You don't have to take that one piece and measure it and do all that stuff. No, just trim it off. Now, I'm going to bring in my ink, and I'm going to use my Vintage Photo Distressed Oxide. And I am just going to do it like this because it's thin paper and it would be hard for me to pick it up and do it the way I usually do it. So I actually don't even have to do the part I just did, but I did it anyway. It just makes it easier to go around. Just go all the way around and get it done very quickly here, just like this. Now once I get it all together, then it's easier for me to do my creases. So now we're going to turn it, and with the this side flap turned up, you're going to go ahead and we're gonna glue it all closed. So we're gonna take our glue, and we're going to just put a little bit of glue on the end right here 
And then we're going to take this side and we're going to glue it on. So now we look like this. Okay. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that you can get your the seam right here to be as even as possible because this is the top of your bag okay this bottom really doesn't matter but the top needs to be even okay now we're going to take this bottom part right down here and we're going to add some glue right here and we're going to fold it up just like that so now we have our little bag just like this so cute right i think that's adorable now is when you can take your ink and you can easily do the creases because it's a couple of pages thick and it's a little easier to do this so here we go all done now the next thing we're going to do is i have we have made, I should say, in the past, we have made napkins or tissue paper on book pages. And I will try to link that in the video at the end if it goes back that far. Sometimes it doesn't go back that far for me. And I take my flower punch and I'm just going to punch out whatever part that I want. Let's see, I think I want down here, I want a little bit pinker. Just like that just give it a punch okay so it's got some words and it's got a little bit of color to it then I'm going to take my ink and I'm actually going to ink all the way around just like that now I have some book pages actually it's a dictionary page right here and I tore it up into little pieces and I inked them up so we're all ready to go I have some lace, some flat lace right here. I have some eyelash yarn. And I have some decorative netting. Okay. So I'm going to take this lace right here. And I am going to go ahead and just trim. Oh, scissors are hot. I'm just going to trim a little bit. Just a strip. There we go. Just, just trimmed a strip. So I have a strip of lace right here. And I am going to glue it with my fabric tack. I'm, glue it, I'm going to glue it onto the front part of my bag. I'm not doing the back. I'm just going to do the front. And then I'm going to lay my lace right here on top, making sure there is a front and a back. Yep. There is a top and a back, front and a back, I should say. Okay, a right side and a wrong side. That's what I'm looking for. Those are the words. Now I've got that on there. Now I'm just going to trim it. Just like this. Now I have made a couple of these to show you. And, you know, you can make whatever size you want, but... We're just making mini ones, but you can make itty bitty ones or just a little bigger or taller or fatter. Now what we want to do is we want to get our net. And I'm just going to cut a kind of a little rectangle here like this. And I'm going to just trim off the corners. Just like that. So now it's kind of an oval. I'm going to place it down right here. I'm going to take a little bit of my eyelash yarn and I'm going to put it right on top. And then I'm going to take my fabric tack. Oh wait, first I forgot my book pages. Eat gads. Eat gads. I forgot my book pages. Okay, here we go. We're going to get some book pages. <laughs> and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of our book page. And I'm just going to put a par partial one right here. I'll trim that off in just a minute. I'm going to put another one, the whole thing, I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to put another one right here. 
something like that. And then maybe another piece of one right down here at the bottom, maybe about right here. Okay, that looks good. Now let's trim this off. Now when you trim this, be careful you don't trim your bag and you end up opening it. I've actually done that a couple times. All right, so now it looks like this. So now what we want to do is bring in our net and lay it down. We're going to bring in our fabric, fabric tack. We're going to apply some fabric tack right down here in the middle and then our lace and then kind of a glob. Put my lid back on. Kind of a glob and we're going to put our, I want a little bit more eyelash yarn than that. So I'm going to trim a little bit more, and I'm going to put it right here, kind of on top of that. And then I'm going to get just a little bit more fabric tack. And I'm going to apply it to the back of our flower. Just like this. And I'm going to press it down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the center and then I'm going to get one of my pearls and I'm going to put it right in that glue and it's just like that. Isn't that adorable? Here's another one that I've made. So cute. You can put all kinds of things in here in a journal. You can glue this back to the journal and have this be a pocket in the middle of a page. Here's another one. Oh, you guys, I absolutely love these. And it's from a piece of packing paper. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.